So can you turn lace into fabric? Good question, and it is one I worked on answering through this sweet dress for my youngest daughter's Easter dress this year. I'm designing a dress using some lace tape as the base and then inserting some fabric gussets. So I need to do a little bit of geometry to get a game plan set up for my dress. And I start by getting an A-line dress pattern and roughly measuring the circumference around the hem. And then I eyeball how tall I want those gussets to be. And gathering those two measurements allows me to roughly build the shape of the gusset. So I'm taking this equation to design this dress and I need to figure out how wide to make the bottom of the gusset. So I'm defining my variables that are known and then plugging and chugging and I gotta say plugging and chugging especially for a simple algebraic equation is no longer the easy process that it was back in high school or during college. Holy cow after three children especially first thing in the morning which this was I'm barely getting through one step per line. Oh and my calculator yeah we don't own a working calculator anymore so I'm doing long hands since my cell phone was in the other room and it made sense in my mind at the time like why get up and get the easy thing to do the hard thing when I could just stay sitting next to my coffee and let my poor brain muscle through all of this. <laughs> I am doing math in my head, like, oh, butter. like without a calculator. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I didn't even do that in my heyday of math. Seriously? Oh, I could do square roots, like, longhand. There's a method of doing it. I, I can't tell you what you it is to get food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. I would, like, do basic addition, but... Oh, I knew all my multiplication tables. I do. I would do more. like okay, four by four. Okay, I got that. No, I, I, I that is six times nine. I busted the calculator out. Oh, <laughs> it's fifty-four. Good for you. Anywho, uh, I got to a width for that bottom gusset, but after drawing out that triangle, I thought it was way too narrow. So I'm going in the other direction with my math now, defining the bottom of the triangle with the proportions that I wanted, and that gave me some rough measurements that I can take, and as the fabulous Tim Gunn would say, make it work. <laughs> So I'm drawing out that triangle that would be the pattern for my fabric gussets, cutting it out, and get to piecing all of this with lace tape together. Yards and yards. Like seriously, I think I cleaned out poor farmhouse fabric supply of white lace tape, which is saying something since they keep gobs of everything in stock. I think Sally's, who is the owner of farmhouse fabric, I think her philosophy is why buy one box when you can get an entire truckload. <laughs> which is great for all of us, right, when we're ordering from them. But anywho, so piece by piece, I'm zigzagging all of this lace tape together, and I'm making sure to give some overhang onto that triangle gusset. But I don't want too much extra, since this is all the supply of white lace tape I feel comfortable asking for, and truthfully, my first order contained like 15 yards or something, and then I ran out, and I ordered another 24 yards. I know and they shipped it out so quickly. They seriously saved my butt on this one. I was like coming to them with the friend who had the brilliant idea and now I need all the help to save myself out of the pickle that I got myself into. But they are amazing people who understand that sewing is so much more than sewing. Okay, so after attaching a gajillion yards of lace tape together, which would lo also look fabulous in French lace too, I'm marking around the triangle gusset to give myself a sewing line. And then I'm using that same triangle to cut out my fabric gusset, making sure to add some seam allowance. And then I'm attaching that fabric gusset to my lace fabric. And I run two rows of straight stitches, trim that up, and then zigzag that raw edge. Once all of the gussets are in place, I transfer the neckline, shoulder seams, arms, eye, all that good stuff onto my lace fabric and then sew some entredeau onto those areas. Entredeau is a wonderful card to have in your deck in situations especially like this. Yes, it is gorgeous and adds some sparkle to your garment, but also if the lines from the lace are like a sixteenth of an inch off or so, you're not going to notice since the entredeau, you know, it's not going to be butted up together. 
So then I thought the dress needed some unusual sleeves too. So I'm freehanding this curve and thinking it would be fun to use for some lace shaping. I'm shaping one piece of French lace and then a piece of lace tape and zigzagging those together and then another piece of French lace. So I have this curved piece and I repeat that three more times, making sure to flip the design for the last two pieces. And then I have this little situation to fill in and I'm thinking that is a great opportunity to bring in the dotted Swiss fabric to the top of the dress. So I'm zigzagging those together. <laughs> How sweet are these sleeves shaping up? You never know what's going to happen when you're winging something like this, but so far so good. So I'm overlapping the lace sections and then adding some entredeau and finally some edging lace. And how darling, right? So fun and different. So I gather up the sleeves and attach them to my dress, which allows me to finish one side via a French seam. And then I can finish this hem with some more entredeau, you guessed it, more entredeau, and finally some French lace, like some French edging which will allows me to finish the other side seam with a French seam. So after putting on the final touches, I had this adorable dress out of a bajillion yards of lace tape. Check out these other Easter outfits I made for Daisy's older brother and sister. Click on the thumbnails to watch the fun. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.